everyone. Look at this. Our last case of 2017 Bowman's Best Baseball. Uh, we 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 got a we got four cases and they're pretty much sold out within a, within a couple days. So I appreciate everyone getting into this. We'll try to get some more, obviously. So keep checking back on jazbeeshobbylab.com. But for now, this is our last case. Pick your team 14 and a chance at a transcendent baseball spot on jazbeeshobbylab.com. Big thanks to these folks on a Thursday for getting into Bowman's Best. It's a Bowman day, folks. We have draft coming up after this from a fresh case. That's also our last case for the time being. All right, so let's see what, what kind of magic we have this last case mojo. Tyrone, what's up? Needs that uh, Chris Bryant. All right, yeah, there are, as opposed to, in contrast to draft, Bowman's best, they do have vet autos in here, so. This is a series one poster. We'll, we'll do some giveaways for these at some point. All right, four autographs a box. Good luck, ladies and gentlemen. Two per mini box. All right, good luck, ladies and gentlemen. Not much going on in the baseball world at the moment. But there are still a lot of big free agents left, so we'll see. Uh, we'll see who gets signed first and what, how the dominoes fall after that. All right, so good luck, everyone. We've been pulling some really nice stuff out of here, so hopefully this last case uh, will will close out with a bang. That's what I'm hoping. All right, good luck, boys and girls. Here we go. These mirror image cards, as you know by now, will be randomized left and right. We'll set that over off to the side. So I won't forget. J.P. Crawford, we haven't seen a lot of him, is your first autograph. Phillies, Andrew McGovern. There you go. Part of the uh, part of that young Phillies team that's coming up the ranks. There's Christian Arroyo, 86 out of 99. A little opposite Joe Mojo going to... The uh, San Francisco Baseball Giants landed with that one. And it says rookie on there. I don't know if I don't know if that would be considered a vet auto. There's Jake Berger. Mm, burgers going out to Nancy and the White Sox. That's a nice one. I think like the eleventh overall pick in two thousand seventeen. Nolan Arenado to 250 for the Rockies. That'll go to Jeff Goldenthal. Jeff Goldenthal, that is, with the Rocks. There's Bellinger, and there's your auto, Tanner Hawk. Nice one for the Bo Sox. EA Sports is in the game. Did you have two teams, Ed? I see you with. I see you with the Indians. Let me double check. 
I see you with Red Sox and White Sox and Bowman's best 13. And Indians and A's. Why did I get Mike Tower in there with the A's? Hang on a second here. Let me flip screens for a second. So Ed actually has the A's as well in number 14. So what does Mike Tower have? Oh, Mike Tower got a spot in draft 29. I guess I must have accidentally put him in to best. He's not in best. Sorry about that, Ed. All right, there you go. All is right in the world. Thanks, I must have had his name saved on my clipboard when I was copying and pasting. Sorry about that. Aaron Judge, Kenzie Gore, and Dane Dunning, 46 out of 99, another White Sox autograph for Nancy. All right, that was box one. Good luck. Box two coming up. I'm trying to think of timing here. It's We're about 27 minutes past the hour right now. 28 now. 28 minutes past the hour. So this break will take about another... This will take about another 30. So let's say this brings us to the top of the hour. That'll be 9 o'clock Pacific. Midnight Eastern Time. We've got Bowman Draft already sold out. That first half of the case is sold out. That'll take us to about 40, 45 minutes past the next hour. So that'll kind of bring us to the last hour of the broadcast. My hope, my guess, is that we'll do the second half of Bowman Draft to kind of kill that case because then there'll be no more best and no more draft. But depending on how quickly we can fill up the breaks, we may be able to squeeze in another break or two at the end of the evening. But by then, there may be pre-orders already for tomorrow's new releases. It's Friday already? Jeez. All right. Week is going by too fast. The year is ending too quickly. All right. Next one is Christopher C. Say. 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 Sir. Sir. C. Rangers. When he's a big leaguer, I'll, I'll, I'll figure out his name. That goes to Karen and the Rangers. There's Willie Adams for the Rays. That'll be for Jeff. That is 245 out of 250. Nice Mackenzie Gore for the Padres. That's a strong one for Brian Crouch. Wildly athletic, apparently. That's pretty. That's pretty nice. Uh, Mackenzie Gore, of course, was your third overall pick for the Padres, high schooler out of North Carolina. Chris Davis, seventy-two out of one fifty for the A's. Is it Sace? Like like an Espanol for Sace? D.L. Hall. One place he doesn't want to be on, the D.L. The other place he does want to be on, the Hall of Fame. That's for the Orioles, Nino with the O's.
There's no more Garcia Parra. Best cuts out of, there's the number, bottom right-hand corner, 39 out of 50. That card is, yes, gold. Well, he definitely doesn't want to be on the Disabled List Hall of Fame, TJ. Let's hope not. And Jordan Montgomery for the Yankees. That's a Yankees auto use. You don't see too often, Adam Kupperman. Who has the Yankees again. And he gets to see something a little different. Instead of the usual uh, Chance Adams. All right, nice box. Kevin, your dad got the uh, Mackenzie Gore that you, that you just saw. That's pretty nice. Is he asleep again? He came in and thanked me for the Brandon McKay from yesterday, though. He was like, man, I fell asleep. But thanks for that McKay. Next box, good luck. Oh, there he is. There's Brian. You're welcome. All righty. Next box. Good luck. Ronald Acuna for Jacob Hill and the Braves. Braves recently cleared a lot of cap space by moving Matt Kemp to the Dodgers. Dodgers moved cap space too. There you go. Bravos, Jacob Hill. And they, they were making way for Ronald Acuna. And that's basically what, why they wanted to clear up salary, cap space, and... Give him a chance to be the everyday center fielder, I believe. Wow, Jim Tome. Best Cuts Atomic Refractor on-card autograph for the Indians. That goes to Ed Ahrens. Ed, I feel like you've been having a pretty nice week at Jaspies this week. Hold some nice hits. 14 out of 25. The persistence paying off. TJ got one of these too. These are pretty sick. There's Jake Lamb. There's Kevin Merrill for the Athletics. That'll be for Ed Aarons as well. He has the A's. And, wow, Francisco Mejia. That's a big prospect for the Indians. Another one for Ed. Nice on-card auto. And that is the Atomic Refractor mirror image. So that's not randomized left and right. That'll be randomized by a team. Good luck, folks. Which two go hand in hand, TJ? The Mejia and the Tome? Did your box was your box like that too? Mejia Tome? All right. 
right, next box. Good luck, folks. We're just about halfway there. And then we got Bowman Draft, number 29, coming up after this. And then hopefully after that, we can do maybe number 30, the second half, so we can just finish off the Bowman Draft. Finish off all the Bowman tonight. This is our last case of Bowman. Bowman Best, that is. We can finish off Bowman Draft. Maybe we can close the night out with uh, maybe, I don't know, one box break of NT Collegiate Football, maybe a football break. We did a lot of baseball today. All right. Good luck, ladies and gentlemen. Nice Aaron Judge. And your first auto from the box is Tristan Lutz for the Brew Crew. Nino with the Brewers. <laughs> nice Tristan Lutz. It's been a Brewers day, too. We've been hitting a lot of Brewers stuff. Lucas Urseg for the Brewers and Nino. There you go, Nino. Two autos in a row. Dropping top loaders all over the place. There it is, another Brewer. And then we got Adam Hazley right here for the Phillies. Andrew McGovern. We got Jorge Alfaro, 92 out of 250 for the Phillies. Oh, that's brutal, Rig. Is that what happened? Wow. Back to normal, Adam Kupperman. Matt Sauer for you. Matt Whiskey Sauer. He's got like 12 of these now. All right, Matt, Matt Whiskey Sour, Matt Sig Sour. And Tristan McKenzie in the back right there. I didn't even realize that Joe Adele was selling that well. I was pretty I was pretty stunned. But yeah, isn't that how it goes? Dio was talking about it, Rick was talking about it. I, I always hate it too. When someone buys a team or, or gets randomized a particular team, doesn't get anything significant or anything at all, but literally the very next case is like a monster hit. I, I hate that because I feel I feel bad for the, the, the previous person. You know, if it, if it was like two cases later, then I'd be like, eh, that was two cases later. There's enough separate, there's enough distance between your skunk and the big hit. But if it's the very next case, or if it's like a half case break, it's the very next half, that that I that I I don't like either. That could that could be pretty that could be pretty rough. But I mean, this is the trouble with random teams. Is that is that there's like two battles you have to fight. You have to battle the battle the let's get randomized a decent team. You know in you know in a random team break, and then the second part of the battle is now let's get hits. Oh, yeah, Rory's saying that is a brutal one. Yeah, not buying in both halves of a pick your team is the worst. Always buy, always attempt to buy the full team in a half case pick your team break. Now, for obvious reasons, we, we split them up to try to make the, 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 the price point a little more friendly for everybody. But if you don't happen to hit in the first half of a pick your team and your team is still available in the second half of the pick your team, like, go get it. Because you don't want to have regrets. Random teams, two battles. The randomizer battle, then the let's hit battle. The pick your teams, you have a little more control over it. I would always encourage everyone, if your team skunks in the first half of a pick your team, get into the second half. 
Uh, Adam Copperwin with the John Duplantier autograph for the Diamondbacks. They always seem to hit Bowman's best, the Snakes. There's Trey Mancini, 216 out of 250 for the Orioles. Nino with that one. There's Dustin Fowler for the Yankees. I feel like this is a new one, too, or one we don't see too often, Adam. And is that our case hit? It is, and it's a nice one. Clint Frazier. Monochrome autograph, Clint Frazier for Adam Kupperman and the Yankees. The Bronx Bombers, or the Baby Bombers as they call them sometimes. 65 out of 125. Uh, he came over from the Andrew Miller trade, I believe. And Anthony Rizzo for the Cubs, 35 out of 50. That was unexpected. Tyrone with the Cubbies. Sorry, not a Chris Bryant that you wanted. I guess you'll have to settle for a gold Anthony Rizzo. Respect me. Remember the playoffs? Respect me. Nice. Miguel Sano out of 150 for the Twins. There's Cody Bellinger, and there's Kyle Wright, a bonus autograph. Braves, that's Jacob Hill with the fifth overall pick from Vanderbilt. Kyle Wright, that's a nice one. And there's Manny Machado, 65 and a half. I was like, that'll work. Congrats, man. That was a nice hit. All right, let's sleeve these guys up. There's the uh, Twins, Sano for Kip Kip Hooray. Uh, you know, I don't know much about that Dustin Fowler. But his best game was in April two, uh, April uh, 16th. Drove in two of his system, leading 88 runs with one of his 15 triples, second in the minors. Wow. Apparently, according to MLB.com, Fowler has made steady progress, getting stronger and polishing his all-around tools to blossom into a five-tool player. Bat speed, strength, and plus speed give him 20-20 upside. There you go. I'll take a 20-20 player. 20 home runs, 20 stolen bases. Especially in a day and an age when, uh, when steals aren't really encouraged or really don't happen that often, unless you're like Billy Hamilton or D. Gordon. All right, good luck, everybody. Once this is done... These last three boxes, Bowman Draft 29 will be coming up next. And Draft 29 should essentially bring us to, uh, bring us pretty much to the doorstep of the last hour of the broadcast. Maybe we could end with the second half of Bowman Draft. There won't be any more Jumbo Draft after that. And then either, uh, and then tomorrow we can focus on the new releases. In fact, I would really encourage everybody to fill up the second half of draft and sell it all out because there'll be a lot of stuff on the, uh, a lot of new release on the site tomorrow, which might turn people's heads. People might not want to be interested in doing a, a lot of draft. All right, good luck, folks. Aaron Judge and Evan White for the Mariners. Mike Coombs with Evan White. Oh, that Rizzo was your was your vet auto. There's usually about one per case on that vet autograph. 
Cody Bellinger raking rookies. Alex Reyes should bounce back this season. There's Sace. Six. That goes to Karen and the Rangers. Nate Pearson for the Blue Jays for Jeff Goldenthal. Oh, yeah, there was a Tomei, too. That's right. So there's a couple in, in this one. Nate Pearson, Blue Jays. And Brett Phillips for the Blue Jay, uh, for the Brewers. Too many Bs happening here. Brett and the Brewers for Nino. Nice. Congrats on that. Hey, no worries, Nino. Thank you for getting in. Still have eight more autographs to go, folks. If you've not hit yet, do not despair. Play to the whistle. Four autographs in this one, four autographs in the last box, and a chance to get a transcendent spot if you bought at least two teams in this break. So a lot more to go. This one open too. Make myself some room here. All right, good luck, boys and girls. MLB Futures, Baseball Futures, World Series. Early odds are out. Bovada is saying that, I don't know if any of the big casinos have done the, the any of the big sports books in Vegas have not set those yet, but I know that I, saw, I saw the Orleans over the weekend had some futures up. Uh, Diamondbacks, 22 to one. Braves seventy five to one, Baltimore seventy five to one, Red Sox ten to one, Cubs twelve to one, White Sox sixty six to one, Reds hundred to one, Cleveland fifteen to two, Colorado fifty to one, Tigers one fifty to one. Uh, the Astros are excuse me, Astros are six to one to win it all. Royals seventy-five to one, Angels twenty-five to one, Dodgers six to one, Marlins one hundred to one, Brewers forty to one, Minnesota seventy-five to one, Mets twenty-eight to one, Yankees five to one, Oakland, Philadelphia, Pittsburgh, San Diego all one hundred to one, the Giants are twenty-five to one, Seattle thirty-three to one, Cardinals eighteen to one, Rays forty to one, Rangers sixty-six to one, Toronto forty to one. And the Nationals ten to one. What what a good what's what's some good value here? I suppose if you want to, maybe you try to gamble on something that's like twenty five ish to one. Diamondbacks, Angels, Mets maybe. I don't know if I'd go with any of the hundred to one. That doesn't seem likely. White Sox could be interesting. Rockies at fifteen to one. Put ten bucks on on the Rockies. Brewers, Rory, your Brewers are forty to one. That could be interesting. If the Brew, what if the Brewers like land like? I don't know, if they get like you Darvish or Jake Arrieta or something like that. Their offense starts raking again. All those young players could be interesting. 
Brewers could be interesting. Ten bucks on the Brewers at forty to one. All right. Last couple here, folks. Good luck. Mitchell White for my Dodgers. That'll go to Ashley. Keston Huda. It's a nice one for the Brewers. Nino with the Brew Crew. That's a big one. Their first first round pick. And pretty popular too. I think some of the mirror image cards compare them to Dustin Pedroia, you know. Couple Ryan Healy's. Cody Bellinger. And Jorge Bonifacio. Another Bellinger. I haven't seen a Bonifacio in a minute or two. That goes to Karen and the Royals. And Jeter Downs for the Red Legs. That goes to Adam Kupperman and Cincinnati. We're on to Cincinnati. We're on to Cincinnati. All right, last box coming up. And another White Sox, Dane Dunning for Nancy and the Southsiders. Out of uh, 150, Austin Meadows. That'll be for the Pirates. That'll go to Mike Coons. And Mitch Keller, 3 out of 99 for the Pirates. And that'll be for Mike Koontz. That's a nice one. Pirates have some nice uh, nice pitchers coming up the ranks, which is why they might, might be willing to let go of Garrett Cole. There's Andrew Benintendi, 168 out of 250 for the Red Sox. That'll be EA Sports it's in the game. Drew Ellis for the Diamondbacks and Adam Kupperman. And the last bit here. Good luck, everybody. Let's see if there's another thing or two. There's Taylor Trammell for We're on Cincinnati. That goes to Adam Kupperman. Nice. And there you have it, folks. That's the break. There's Clark Schmidt for Adam and the Yankees. That's out of 50. That card is gold. And that's the way it was in Bowman's best last case number 14. Thanks, everyone, for getting in. Transcendent spot and some randomizers. Let's see who gets what. So we'll do this, just the standard ones are left, right. This is a one per case. So we'll randomize that between the two teams. So we'll go left, right first. Then we'll go the two teams for the atomic refractor, mirror image. That's Indians, that's Mets. And let's see who gets a shot at transcendent baseball spot. Adam got a few teams. There you go. Andrew is in. Ashley is in. Brian is in. Ed in. Eric in. Jeff Goldenthal in. Karen in. 
Landon in. Mike Coons. Nancy in. In. Nino has a chance. And so does Tyrone. Out of a total of 15 potential spots, that's 13. One out, you have a 1 out of 13 shot. At a transcended baseball spot, a $155 value. Randomizing each list, 1 out of 5, 6 times. Good luck, everybody. Left, right, first. 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, and 6. Uh, stays with the right side. So the right side teams will get all of these mirror image cards. This is fun because they compare, obviously. The up-and-comers with the Vets. Next one, Indians and Mets for the Atomic Refractor. Six times. One, two, three, four, five, and six. Flips to the Mets. Goes to Andrew McGovern with the one-per-case Atomic Refractor mirror image. And last but definitely not least is a chance at a Transcendent Baseball spot, a $155 value, Transcendent Baseball number two, jazbeeshobbyland.com. One out of five, six times. One, two, three, four, five, and six in the final time. Name on top. EA Sports, it's in the game. Very nice, Eric. Congrats to you. And thanks very much, everyone. That was Bowman's Best, number 14, from jazbeeshobbyland.com. That was our last case for the time being. But keep checking back on jazbeeshobbyland.com for, uh, for more baseball in general. We'll see you next time. Bye-bye.